Part of this assignment is exploring key framing effects. And the way that we go about that is by importing our title, logo with layers, and background. The file will actually come into Premiere Pro with two different layers on them. And when it prompts you, you want to import, instead of the whole thing, always do separate layers for your Photoshop file. That way you can get the double identity logo and the background. Otherwise, both will be spinning, and you don't want that. So if I go to my sequence line, I'm going to highlight logo title with layers and go to my effects control panel. Here, you're going to have four different options. And the first thing you'll want to do is bring down motion. And here you can find that if your logo is cut off the screen, you can make it smaller so that when it rotates, it's not cut off on the edges. The second thing that you can do is you can implement a keyframe. And you do this by hitting this toggle animation. It looks like a stopwatch on rotation. And what that'll do is open up this diamond that is a keyframe vector. And what it's going to do is it's going to add a point on your mini timeline here that tells the computer from this point to wherever else you want it, and you can add another vector point, I want you to make it do go from this effect to this effect over time. So I need to tell my keyframe vector what I want it to do by that time. And I do that by going over to our yellow numbers here and telling it how much I want to spin. I can preview it by clicking back on my timeline and watching it go. You can add these keyframes with any of our effects we have over here, including opacity, which is another expectation on your rubric. So again, I have my toggled animation open so that I can see where I can add a keyframe. So if by the time it's done spinning, I want it to start fading away, I can add two different keyframes here where this one is 100% opacity and this one maybe is a lot less. So let me preview it again and it'll start going away and fading away because I've changed the opacity.